All right, and we are back. As you can tell, I took a little bit of a mental health break after I killed Kaden. Yeah, let's go see what the rest of the team has to say about that. Because I'm still not okay with it. I mean, when it came down to the choice between him and Ash, overall, I'm proud of the choice, but... And that's where he used to stand. But... It's rough. I didn't think that you would lose a core member of your squad this early in the series. So I guess it's setting up for the fact that it's gonna probably happen a couple of times, or it could. I don't know what the possibilities are there of me losing a lot more people. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's the last person I'd feel sorry for. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. Ooh. I like talking Can she pick a topic? Are, no matter what the subject. Then let us talk about you. Are you okay? I've already told her I'm this, right? Well. I wish there was something I could do to help you. You need to Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've already had this conversation. Sorry, Commander. The last thing you need is someone constantly reminding you of how grim things are. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. All right. No talk yet about Caden Shockwas. Yes, you got Commander. anything to say? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an alliance? I enlisted right out. Oh, no, we already know this about Shockwas. I should go. Goodbye, Command. Okay. Oh, bye, Caden. You're kind of missed, but also not really, but kind of. Yeah, I didn't think I could lose a core member of the team this early on, but I was also informed that I could have lost Rex and Vermeyer. I don't know how that happens. I kind of want to look it up, but also I don't know if it's a... Sp Would it be a spoiler if I've already gotten past that point? Anyway, did not know you could possibly lose Rex. Command. Which would have broke my heart. Right, thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I've thought about what you said, about eliminating the threat immediately, regardless of the cost. You were right about Dr. Salian, too. Killing him was the only solution. This way, we'll know he'll never hurt anyone again. Words mean nothing until you turn them into action, Garrus. What are you going to do about it? I'm going to reapply for Spectre training. Ooh. I'll probably kill my father, but I've got to try. If that doesn't work, I'll do just about anything. Except go back to CSEC. I'm done with it. No more red tape. No more politics. From now on, I do things my way. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. I guess he is a little bit more on the renegade side. Commander, I wanted to thank you. I don't okay. have time for this. Nothing else oh. for Garrus. Goodbye, Commander. Considering I have been letting him basically do his own thing. Commander? Oh, about Caden. About okay. Lieutenant Alenko. How are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. No, it's not. Williams, it's my fault. To me. I'm in command of this mission. I made the call, not you. He's dead because of me. It's funny. I don't have any fear of dying for the Alliance. But when I think of someone dying for me... Uh, if you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Elysium? It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. 
I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember him, and I'll do better for him. Yeah. I guess that's all we can do. Thanks for the advice, Skipper. What's your opinion of the last mission? We've got a hard fight ahead. Fleets of AI dreadnoughts who've exterminated all life dozens of times over? I think the odds are against us. We have an advantage. We know they're coming, and we know about their indoctrination. I don't plan to lie down and die, Skipper. Don't worry about that. But I'm infantry. Against Reapers, my rifle may as well fire spitballs. I won't have a place in this war. That's what pisses me off, not being able to shoot back. Do you have a few Just get a bigger talk? gun. One on one. I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Rifles don't maintain themselves. Not yet, anyway. Dismissed, Chief. Okay, she's feeling a little bit guilty, yeah. which we can all deal with. It's fine. I'm still- I still don't know how you guys lived. I really don't. Like, Caden's dead, but you guys are fine. It's great to know. Commander, we'll get to you guys in a second. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. Um, I think we're good. So long, Rex. Yeah, if I had lost Rex, I don't know if I would have kept playing. I mean, obviously I would have, but I would have taken a much longer break and been a lot more ticked off. All right, how'd you it was survive? An honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. Lieutenant Alenko's actions will not go unnoticed. His sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. You knew what the risks were. Of course. A grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we will have the opportunity to work together again someday. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. The Captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. Glad I could help. All right. Good luck, Commander Shepard. <laughs> Just that glad I could help and walk away. I mean, I guess I'm happy they're alive because the Solarian team is really cool. Just from what I've been listening from other characters and in the Codex, Solarians aren't really known for their combat skills, so to have a full team of Solarian spies and infiltrators, I thought that was cool, so... Hey, Shepard. Hopefully we'll see them again. Um, and we're good with Dolly. Go. See you later. Alright, I guess I just head back up and... Where do I need to go? That's a good question. Where do I go from here? Um, report to the council and warn them of sovereigns. Already did that. Do I have to go to the citadel or can I just go to the comms room? Because we already did that. We're about to figure this out. So yeah, overall, I think Vermeyer went well. I mean... From my understanding of the comments, I had to sacrifice one or the other. I couldn't just save both Caden and Ash. So I'm still happy with my choice of Ash. Managed to keep Rex, which I really want to know what you have to do wrong to upset Rex. And um, the Solarians team is alive for the most part. Okay, I guess I go back to the Citadel. I'll probably get a message from someone when I open up the map. Let's see. Ooh, I want to talk to Joker. We'll talk to Joker before any more stuff goes down, and then we'll make our way to the Citadel, most likely. Commander, I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Alenko and Williams must have been... I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. I just don't know if I could have done it. And there is no right choice for something like that. I just hope I never have to go through it again. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry. I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. All right. Later, Joker. Okay, now that we've got that cleared up, let's check in on the map. Probably going to get another message from the Admiral, because these days I can't open the map at all without him calling me about something. 
I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel commander. Okay. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. Mm. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, ma'am. Not sure how I feel about this, because didn't the Council literally just say, hey, we don't believe you. You're on your own. Get more evidence. So I'm not sure how I feel about this sudden switch up of, hey, come back, we have an army. Seems a little bit suspicious. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. No. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. You're telling me in the future they don't have some way to like probe my memory to see the Reapers? This isn't his greatest weapon. The conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Burmire. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. Isn't that why the Normandy has like the most high tech If Saren systems? finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! Tell him, Ash. It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until further notice you're grounded. Okay, that's BS. Are you insane? After everything I have done, you still don't believe me. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. I knew I didn't like Udina. I knew it. The Normandy's literally the perfect stealth ship. Just let the Normandy go. Commander, I've got a message from Captain Anderson. What did he want? Only said to meet him in that club in the wards. Flux. All right. Let's bring Ash and Garrus. I knew I didn't like Udina. Just something about his personality from the very first, or maybe it was the second episode we met him. I think it was the second episode. Atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. I can respect an opportunist. Unless an opportunity has been taken and it's against me. Then I have a problem with it. After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. Yeah, corporate greed for the win. What would have happened to Pharos if you hadn't made the deal? with Exogeny, or sold the colonies. Well, what, what did it become? Some type of, um, I guess, tourist area more than Alliance anything? officials report that a Geth incursion into the Armstrong cluster has been repulsed, with the Geth suffering heavy casualties. 
In the event of future Geth activity, the Alliance plans to maintain a strong security presence in the area. All right, sounds good. So yeah, let's go see what Captain Anderson wants. I don't see why you just can't take the Normandy. Who are you? Excuse me. Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. What's this demonstration about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? Armistice Day was a couple episodes ago, according to Ashley. You're marking the end of the first contact war with a protest. As we have every year for the last 26 years, the war taught humanity a lesson that some would forget. If we don't stand up for ourselves, no one else will. Ooh. What are you running for? I'm seeking one of the five spacer seats in Parliament. They have certain Baroque conditions for a citizen to be able to vote for them. You have to spend more than six months a year in space, but you can't have stayed in any one settled system for more than a month. You do spend most of your time in space, Commander. I don't know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences. Politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. It's a noble goal. Too bad so many of your supporters are just racists. Damn, this I coming can't from deny Ash? That some of our supporters have extreme views. But our platform is also supported I'm proud by of economists, her. sociologists, and medical professionals. But you don't do anything to curtail the racist comments of your members. Of course not, Commander. Whether I disagree with them or not, they have the right to express their opinion. Uh -huh. Were the appeasers the one who were against Terra Firma's platform? We'll see Sorry. where this goes. I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like Shanxi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. The support of no. the first human specter would be invaluable. The occupation of Shanxi couldn't happen again. We weren't even sure there were aliens to garrison against back then. It's still a powerful symbol, Commander. Shanxi is the only human territory ever occupied by an alien species. Yeah, I'm not supporting you have the right this. You to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno, but with all due respect, I disagree with it. I understand. I'm glad you support the democratic process, Edward. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. Oh yeah, that's definitely gonna pop back up later. But if Ash is against it, so am I. Also, I just want to point out, look at how we're all matching. Oh, we all look so good. Okay. But yeah, I definitely feel like that's going to pop up again. Because we got two more games to go, so things are probably going to go downhill. And who? Wait a minute. Who is that guy? What? Okay, hold up. Soldier, I've got Talk a major situation, first. and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. It's Commander, actually. What do you want? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. Don't try to sell me on this. Just tell me what you want. I need you to buy a mental stimulant for me. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. Ah, okay. What exactly is this stimulant? Oh, I don't know the medical terms, but it increases mental capacity, short-term recall, that sort of thing. It helps me stay focused, and it keeps me sharp. Nothing gets by me when I'm on it. Uh... If you know the monthly limits, why'd you go over them? 
The negotiations were supposed to be last week, but the Salarians stalled it, probably deliberately. If I don't get the stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over, and that would be a disaster. You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Why is this deal so important? The Salarians want to set up long-term trade agreements. There are billions of credits at stake. If I don't get the drug, my assistant will take over and mess up the whole deal. It would be a disaster. You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? My assistant wants to bend over. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took um, with the Turians. Yeah, Forget seems like an addict. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. Ooh. That doesn't mean I agree with it, even if it I is the norm. I don't see all the top negotiators soliciting help to go over the legal limit, Keeler. Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what. This will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. I don't think no so. No trade negotiation is worth ruining your life for. Let it go and get help. You don't understand. Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll... I... You sound ridiculous. I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. There's no shame in having a problem, but you have to get treatment. You're, you're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I, I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. Okay, now back to the Thalerian that fell down. Yeah, what is it? Why were you tossed out of there? Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He assumed I was cheating. I know Doran. If he says you're cheating, you're cheating. I was just tipping the scales in my favor. Only as an experiment. Still okay. sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. Does the device help me win? The device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly increase your odds. Nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. Okay. What's in this for me? Keep your winnings. That should be payment enough, I think. All right, I'll help you I'm out. down. Huh. I suppose I could let you try it. Here you go. When you've recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Well, off you go. That data I can support a little bit of gambling. Drug use is iffy, but gambling, I'm down. Um. Hey there, welcome to Flux. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, there's so many new people to talk to. Okay. So ideally, I want to make it to 20. I don't want to press one to eight again. Damn it. Okay. Play again. I've got enough money. It would be great if Captain Anderson just came up here like Shepard. We had an important meeting on how to save the galaxy and you're gambling. Fine. I probably should have looked up instructions on how to actually do this little, um, assignment. Ooh, let's go. Okay. 
Oh. Is that if I'm gonna rat him out? Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? Is this a casino? Among other things, yes. We've got some quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Are you the owner? Owner, cook, and bartender. I've even been known to dance a little when the mood strikes me. We've got some quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Goodbye. Enjoy your time here. Okay. Let's see. How many times do I have to win? Let's go to Flux Upper Wards. Use the gambling machines at least five times. Don't get caught. Sounds good. I always get up to 15. Okay, might as well take the payout. Should I try again? I'm gonna do it. Don't often see someone getting as lucky as you. <laughs> Oh, Snows. Do I have to go talk to him again? Hello again. Can I help you? Oh, no, I'm good. Just passing okay. through. Enjoy your time here at Flux. Um, am I good here? Can the machines? Please, wait, what? Let's play the low stakes one this time. Your luck seems unnatural, human. Okay, so I'm supposed to play up to 25 times? Because I would assume that when I finish this little sequence, it would go into like a cutscene or something or tell me to just go back. Just checking. Am I good or do I have to go again? Uh, at least five times, don't get caught. It's definitely been more than five times. Definitely been more than five times. I need to speak. Okay, with there you we moment. go. You've got the same device Shells had earlier. Did he give it to you or did you take it from him? Never mind. It doesn't matter how you got it. But I can't let you keep it. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't make a scene, Commander. I've already recovered the credits you won. Now, I suggest you stick to playing the game fairly, or not at all. I mean, okay. I still think I finished off the calibrations for his device, though. So I can just give it back. So, did you record five wins with the device yet? <laughs> I lost it. Doran caught me cheating and took it from me. But that was years of work. What am I gonna do now? Maybe you should put your talents to better use. 
You're no help at all. This is absolutely the worst day of my life. I tried. What am I gonna do now? I was totally down to help. It's not my fault it went wrong. Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. You don't sound that happy about it. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. I'm glad you came, Jenna. I heard what happened. The Normandy's been grounded. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. Ooh. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He's not going to let you waltz into his office and use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. Udina won't let this slide, Captain. You'll be charged with treason. Capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. It's your call, Captain. I'll break into the Ambassador's office. He made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Pretty much. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. All right, we are stealing the Normandy. It's a great plan. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Can I just fast travel to CSEC? Yeah, so we're gonna steal it. Nothing could possibly go wrong. It's a perfect plan. Everything will be fine. I'm sure Anderson will be fine. I don't even believe myself as I say that. But at least we'll have our ship back, and all of this could have been avoided have if they just let us take it in the first place. By a former Alliance officer, Major Kyle. Major Kyle surrendered and is now being treated for severe post-traumatic stress disorder. All right. Happy to see Kyle's okay. I'm sure his cult will be happy. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. All right, let's steal us a spaceship. Punch Anderson. him in the face. What are you doing here? I didn't send. <laughs> I love Captain Anderson. Let's go. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. Sure, the council will completely forgive us for this. 
once we save their lives or they find something else to blame on Shepard. So I guess now we just have to make it to Ilos. Alright, where to from here? Nothing else going on in the system. But then again, we're pretty much done with exploration. I think. Unless we get to this cluster and there are other planets. Okay, there's a couple of things going on. Actually, there's nothing. Okay. Main point of interest, Ilos. Golden Age of Protheans, Ilos was dotted arches and magnificent cities. Even casual observation shows this is no longer the case. Devastated by means unknown, its entire surface changed to the color of rust. Atmosphere shows heightened levels of oxygen. Wildfires presumably ignited by lightning strikes. All right. And I assume we're in the end game now for Mass Effect 1. Because I don't exactly imagine where we could go from here. Commander, we've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 meters? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone! There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker. Drop us right on top of that bastard. Yeah, everyone have some faith in Joker. Aw, oh, poor Caden, all shadowed out, not gonna see the end game. Okay, Ash and it's probably gonna be a lot of Geth, so. Hmm. Kinda wanna bring Tali. Or maybe more balanced. Okay. Sticking with my boys. They are my go-to option. on top of them. We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There's no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We'll have to find some way to get it up and running again. Okay. So that is not the direction we need to go. Oh, hello. Anyone peeking around corners? Can I do anything with that? No. Ooh. 
someone over here. Not that I can see. Oh, hello. I just got done playing a game where X was the interact button, not X square. So now it's tripping me up again. And I am wasting my grenades. the other one be hiding. Oh. What is that? Where'd it go? Oh, it's just a turret. I was about to get very confused. Nothing behind me. I really don't know what that did, but I decrypted something. Oh, where did you jump to? And that was... Sir, hold still. Perfect. Oh, that's that. Got him that time, though. Anything over here? Where are they firing? Okay. Now they want the lizard things. Hold still. Um, can't do anything with this weird looking statue they got going on here. Oh my god, what? Ew! They're like husks, but so much worse. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going. Please stay in your chairs and do not get up for any reason. I'm so against using the Omni Gel to open those. It just doesn't occur to me. I really don't like those. I don't know why they're here and just everywhere. They're really creepy to look at. Please just stay in your seats. Just ignore me. Cannot connect a network. I don't know why that matters, but stay disconnected. Anybody around here? Oh, did I just make a circle? I feel like I did. I definitely did. Okay. Ah, gotta stop doing that. All right, maybe there's something underneath here that I was missing. Let's try this again. Gotta be something I missed somewhere. 
Anything near these creepy guys? That does nothing for me. Alright, where I would want to be is somewhere over there. There has to be something else I can decrypt or mess with. Otherwise, I made a full circle for no reason. Creepy people. Don't like it. What happens if I? All right, just checking. Just double checking. Nothing for me over here. All right. Did I go the wrong way? Oh no, I just have to walk up. Oh. Ooh, hello. Any more? Definitely somewhere. to go. Alright, that's probably gonna take me somewhere, so let me check up here really quick. Or not. Oh, missed that. Okay, but that also goes somewhere. Okay, let me backtrack and walk inside that room really quick just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Does this do anything at all? Open for no reason? Can I shove myself in here? Oh, it is an elevator. Okay. Glad I came back. And nothing else for me. And I can't jump off ledges. Commander Shepard can do everything else in the galaxy, but you ask her to jump off a ledge and the answer is no. Back towards the other elevator, what I'm assuming is an elevator. like a solid plan, Garrus. We will disengage the systems as soon as I find them. I don't like these statues. I keep 
thinking they're just gonna pop up. Just move out of the way of that, sir. Please get away from me. Sir, sir, please back away. You as well. Weapon cooled out. Ridiculous. Where is... Okay. I think we're all good on enemies. Can I go up behind me? I could. And nothing is up here. Alright. Amateur repair station. Armature. Hello. Um, okay. You, you good? You gonna do anything? Got anything to say to me? Am I just supposed to leave this here? Am I supposed to turn these on? You know what, one's good. One's good for now. I'll repair one of them. Every time! Um, am I supposed to go up? Or... Okay, I think I am supposed to go up. I gotta be careful which games I play in succession. That way I don't consistently get the buttons mixed up. Come on, Saren's already got a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That's a chance we'll have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. You're too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message. But I don't recognize the language. It's probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we can't understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Incredible. The cipher must have transferred an understanding of the Prothean language into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. Okay. So I guess the Reaper's plan of action before was even to attack the Citadel. Unless there's something else in the Citadel that we should be interested in. Alright, let's make our way here. Okay, we're good. Another elevator ride. A very long elevator ride. to now race against time sovereign oh, okay I returned back to where we lost Saren I assume maybe oh yeah now the door is opening Oh, 
Oh, probably need to take the car. That would make more sense. Perfect. I was wondering why this hallway was so big. I thought Sarah would have set some kind of trap or ambush. They must have been too much of a Or we just haven't run into it yet. That seems more likely. Alright. things on the wall. Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. The broken. Should I be worried about the things on the walls? Wasn't about to leave that money. Is that a shield or a wall of water? Okay, shields. What's happening? It's a trap. Saren must have set an ambush. I don't think Saren's behind this. Okay. What do you think we're gonna find down here? It has to be useful if it specifically targeted us. Don't get your hopes up. The only thing we can depend on right now is ourselves. Rex be speaking a lot of troops. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. Wait a minute. How come I can understand you? Why aren't you speaking the Prothean language? I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system, with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan. Chief Overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. Well, I didn't see that coming. Oh, nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay. The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers Damn maintain the keepers. station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the Relay is activated and the Reapers invade. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. 
By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack! That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our Empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. The war was lost. If you'd surrendered, they might have let you live. No, no offer no. of surrender was ever given. Our enemy had a single goal. The extinction of all advanced organic life. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. Why did the Reapers leave? Why did they do this? Kind of want to know this one. Get out of this. Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. Okay, that's reasonable. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top-secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small-scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. Conduit's not a weapon. It's a backdoor onto the Citadel. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. Are they still alive? But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? I mean, I guess it was necessary. He couldn't let everyone die. Better to sacrifice some so others could live. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. 
Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. I still don't understand what's going on here. Why is Saren trying to find the Conduit? The Conduit gives him access to the Citadel and the Keepers. The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel Relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Mm. Saren can use the conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Correct. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Probably to the in the core. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Um, more questions. If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction. A sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. But this time, the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secret? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even a Reaper couldn't survive such odds. But the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries, moving deliberately, gathering allies. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle, working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say but it is determined to reopen the portal to dark space. What about the beacon on Eden Prime? And the one on Vermeer? What were they for? At our apex, the beacons spanned the breadth of our empire. We used them as a single galaxy-wide network to transmit data and communications rapidly from world to world. Virtually all the beacons were destroyed during the invasion, but once the Reapers were gone, the survivors here on Ilos decided to risk sending out a message. We knew it was unlikely there were other survivors. But if there were, we wanted them to know about Ilos. We wanted to give them hope. So a message was sent across the network. You could have exposed yourself to the Reapers. In truth, we didn't expect any of the beacons would still function. But we had to try. If there were survivors, we had to reach them. The message was meant for our own people. It was coded so only organic beings could interpret it. We still didn't understand the power of Reaper indoctrination. We never realized it could lead an agent of the machines, like Saren, to this world. But it has also led you here. So perhaps we did not fail after all. I know I'm being super quiet right now, but I'm really just trying to take in everything. Talk so about the Keepers. When the Reapers created the Citadel, they created the Keepers as well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations. 
Perhaps the very first. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination, or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. In any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. But the Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. When the Protheans altered the Citadel signals, they broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. Now, they are completely harmless. Okay, I guess I can't blame the Keepers for every m minor issue in my life anymore. Sovereign must have realized organic races were difficult to control. A likely hypothesis. The Keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. All right, what happened the to the scientists? survivors from the Conduit Project? They used the Conduit to gain access to the Citadel, but the Conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction, so they were trapped on the station. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. Well, there goes my dream of meeting a Prothean. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. Okay, a complete data j just drop on me right then. So the Citadel is a trap, which I did not expect, but it makes complete sense if your whole game plan is to just cultivate civilizations over the course of thousands of years so and then exterminate them. The you would want them to all come together in one place. They were fooled by the Reapers, just as we were. They failed. Keep it moving. I've got no intention of ending up like them. I can't blame the Keepers for everything that goes wrong in my life anymore. Because even though they are still kind of shady, it kind of isn't their fault. And if they really were one of the first races that were overtaken by the Reapers and they were just bred into, I guess, servitude, that is really sad. And I feel bad for being terrible to them all the time. Also, brings me back to something. I swear if this little portal leads us back to that, uh, that one statue of the mass relay that's like in the middle of the presidium i wouldn't be shocked at all because that whole little statue has been bothering me for a while now especially when you first get to talk to avina the she's not an ai system the vi system when you get to talk to her and she's like oh yeah there's this na nice statue of the mass relay we don't know what it does we've never like poked it or anything to see do i just drive off here yeah i came down here for no reason i'm supposed to drive off of it Shepard, put that away. So yeah, if this uh, little miniature mass relay takes us straight into the middle of the Presidium, I would just like to say that I called it. around the Citadel be like, Shepard, why are you so concerned about our statue? Shepard, stop bullying the Keepers. But no, I had a point. Uh, why does this want me to go back here? Or maybe not. Okay. You know what? Just gonna continue forward. Turn around. Keep on going. Okay. So now we have to get back to the Citadel. Oh, this will finally prove to those stubborn counselors, councilmen, that Shepard's not crazy. Oh, hello. Die. You too. Anytime now. I don't know if the Mako is 
as big of a part of the next couple of games. Because from what I gathered, definitely in like the first game, the first rendition, uh, the makeup was not as easy to control and probably was a little bit of the pain in the ass. So I don't know if they bring the Mako back and make it such a big part of the next couple of games, but if they do, I really hope they give me the chance to do upgrades. Because I would give nothing but to make the little minigun on this Mako a lot stronger. Go away. Die. So yeah, learned a lot. Now we have to go back to the Citadel. Councilmen are definitely going to be upset, especially Udina, that we went and stole the Normandy. But hey, we're saving everyone's lives, so you guys can get over... Get over it all. A little bit of insubordination never hurt anybody. Um, is there... No. Okay. Forward, I continue. What is that? Oh. I thought this backdrop here was some type of new floating it's enemy. Ooh. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these geth aren't going to make it easy on us. Well, I'm trying to go forward. to say that's just sovereign i thought for a second they succeeded and that was the other reaper or other reapers well i guess they did kind of succeed i mean they made it to the citadel oh look it's the mass evasion that commander shepherd tried to warn you about Systems not responding. Abandon the Citadel! Evacuate the Council! Citadel Control! Citadel Control, do you copy? Alright, we gotta go. Conduit closing. So can I just run through all these enemies and go straight for the conduit? Oh yeah, that's definitely the game plan because I got 30 seconds. right through you. Excuse me, sir. We got a galaxy to save. And some ungrateful councilmen. Did we just drive the Mako through the conduit? That's cool. I want to see where the Mako lands. See, now we're going to go save their lives, so they have no reason to be Google upset with us for insubordination. Across all monitored systems. Okay. Please begin emergency evacuation. I knew it! I knew I didn't trust this little statue thing. You know, just like, oh yeah, it's a monument. We don't know why it's here, but it's here. I'm like, have you never, I don't know, poked it or tried to get it to work? See, that would be the one issue with me actually being in space. I would try to poke and mess with everything. Okay. Um. There's a point of interest over here. Is it Avina? Oh, please stay on your spikes. There's no reason to come and speak to me. Okay. The Presidium is experiencing severe system malfunctions across the entire level. All non emergency okay. personnel must evacuate immediately. Give status me a rundown report of the damage. We have lost all primary power to the level. Environmental controls are not responding. Class 3 fires are burning in sectors 2, 3, 6, and 7. Civilian casualties are high. I am also detecting numerous unauthorized synthetic life forms throughout the station. They are believed to be hostile. Please approach with caution. All right, thank you, Avina. Come on. We need to stop Saren before it's too late. But yeah, me as Commander Shepard in space would not go over well. Shep would be labeled as like a psycho, bullying the keepers, 
Trying to touch all the monuments. Probably trying to integrate myself into Elcor society. Cool. Don't let the enemy ships inside the arms. to close a little bit faster. Oh, never mind. Okay. Interesting turn of events. Got distracted looking at Sovereign. Oh, not more probing. I'm supposed to be heading? Mm, maybe. Okay, yes. Come on, cool down. Does weapon cooldown continue to be a thing throughout the rest of the series? I don't 
think that helps me any. Oh, sorry. Did not mean to shoot you in the back of the head. Let's bypass that. Thankfully, those rockets move in slow motion. Another gap moving around on the map. Oh, there he is. I think this is our last turret. Can't be that far off from the council room. Yep, here we are. It's good to know the water feature is still working even without the power. Saren go.
Okay. We brought back the hovercraft. I was afraid you wouldn't make it in time, Shepard. In time for what? The final confrontation. I think we both expected it would end like this. You've lost. You know that, don't you? In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeyer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. You let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeyer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now my oh, doubts are guy. gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need organics. Join us, and Sovereign will find a place for you, too. So would he have not have been implanted had we not tried to manipulate him with the Paragon Sovereign's option? Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true rebirth. Sovereign hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the station. Step aside and the invasion will never happen. We can't stop it. Not forever. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. The Reapers are too powerful. Some part of you must still realize this is wrong. You can fight this. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... The implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. Let's keep trying. It's not over yet. You can still redeem yourself. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. Poor Saren. I guess that was his last autonomous act. Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down. See if you can open a communications channel. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. You'd sacrifice human lives to save the Council? What have they ever done for your kind? This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign's a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. That's why you can't throw away reinforcements trying to save the Council. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? What kind of choice is this? Of course you have to save the Council. Because we still have two more games to go and the last thing I want is for the rest of Alien Space or whatever to look at Shepard like, Oh, you sacrificed the Council in unity amongst alien races. You got no choice but to save the council. Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. I hope the council appreciates this. They won't, but they'll hate me even more if I don't do it. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension.
There's no way you can't save the council. I mean, Commander, we're you picking obviously up can make a different choice. It's the Alliance. Thank the goddess. But if you do that, then everything some aliens think about humanity would be true. Oh, humans only help other humans. They don't care about the unity amongst alien races. And then the next two games, the council, probably a new council, would hate Shepard even more. Destiny Ascension, you are all clear. Repeat, you are all clear. The Citadel's opening. All ships move in. Concentrate on Sovereign. Make sure he's dead. I feel bad for him. Oh, don't let this man get back up. He's dead. Are we sure? Because Husk are dead, too. That doesn't stop them from getting back up. There we go. Shots in on Sovereign. Sovereign's too strong. We have to pull back. Negative. This is our only chance. Take that monster down no matter what the cost. All right. You heard Hackett. back up. Get him. It's 
Bombs are down. Now's our chance. Hit her with everything we got. Captain Anderson, we found him. They're in here. Take it easy. It's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? Save the Citadel, but it doesn't feel final. Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice, and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. You saved not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Counselor, on behalf of humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious Make honor Anderson the ambassador or council member. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill humanity's seat on the Council. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? Anderson! We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. Him? You must be joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talking. Only with you, Ambassador. Only with you. <laughs> Are you sure about this, Commander? The Captain's a soldier, not a politician. <laughs> I'm not picking you. <laughs> um... We've already got too many politicians on the Citadel. The captain would be perfect for this job. I think it's an inspired choice. The council would welcome him with open arms, should he accept. I'm honored, Counselor. As humanity's representative, 
I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both humanity and the Council. Yeah, it's not over with. Sovereign was only a vanguard. The Reaper fleet is still coming. Hundreds of ships, maybe thousands. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. Humanity is ready to do its part. United with the rest of the Council, we have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as one. And together, we will drive them back into dark space. Yeah, there was no way I was going to support Udina in any way. Okay, I guess that actually was the end of the game. I guess because there's two more games, it just didn't feel like it was the end. would die at the very last second but as for mass effect i absolutely love this game i'm very excited to jump into the next two games because the way the information all came together in mass effect one if it wasn't for the fact that you know the reapers are still out there it honestly could have been a standalone so i'm interested to see how the story continues to expand into the next two games and i will be immediately jumping into that but also, I do want to start diversifying the games that I'm playing a little bit. So if you guys have any suggestions of games that you want me to play in the future, please leave it in the comments down below. Keep in mind, I'm probably going to be stuck with just my PS4 until the end of the year when I hopefully will be able to get a PS5 for all the other stuff that's coming out. So any games that you guys want to see me play, um, past couple of years I've been busy so there's been a lot of really good releases that I have not played and managed to avoid spoilers for. For instance, never played the Soul series. I know that's kind of an older one. And I also didn't play Sekiro, the other one that they came out with, but I did play Bloodborne. Um, what else came out? I don't think, I don't think I played The Last of Us 2. There's a handful of things that I have not played. So if you have suggestions, please leave them down in the comments below. Also, at some point, I might start streaming games that I have played in the past that are getting sequels soon on Twitch, like Horizon Zero Dawn. I played the first one of that, and I'm excited to play the second one, but we'll see. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me through Mass Effect 1, and I hope you'll join me again very soon when we start Mass Effect 2 and continue Commander Shepard's story. So thank you guys so much for following along with me, and I hope to see you soon.